I'm just realizing that time can no longer be wasted, bro. Time is the most valuable form of currency on this planet. Berry on his base, bumping in the back seat. Running out of rocket, ran a check up like a track. Yo, what's up, what's good, what's poppin' YouTube, man? You already know what it is. It's your boy Slate and Aziz. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing, I'm just playing. But um, yeah, man, so you know what it is. Nah, 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 not, not, not you know what it is. You don't know what it is. You know who it is. We're gonna be doing something a little differently today while I'm gonna be doing something a little differently today. I'm out of town right now, Lake Charles, Louisiana, visiting family and whatnot. And um, I just didn't, I'm going to be out here for a minute and I didn't want us to like have this long space of us not dropping any content or whatever. So I just decided I'll take it upon myself to film a little vlog video, give you a little rundown of what's going on in my life, you know, some of my interests and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Just to get to know me a little bit. So where I'm at right now, I, I don't know if I said this, I'll probably be saying it twice. But I'm in uh, Lake Charles, Louisiana. Got my little cousin in the back. You already know how it be. Family, grandma interrupting right now. But um, yeah, so I'm in Lake Charles, Louisiana. I had to uh, I had to come out here and whatnot because I had to come and see about my, my dog. You know, my dog, I've been having her since like 2008. Let me just show her on the camera real quick. Go ahead and stun on them real quick, boo. Okay. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, so I had to come out here and see about her. She's a little bit older. I've been having her. She was a puppy in 2008. And that's another dog. She over there humping the ball. I just, I just got it. I got it. No, don't, don't add. Don't, no, don't, don't stop because you got caught. Don't stop. Keep having your, uh, your session. But, but anyways... Yeah, I just want to, uh, I'm rambling. I'm a rambling man, but with the help, you know what I'm saying, of my editing uh, team, you know what I'm saying, Samurai Squad, the general, uh, Eli or whatever, we... My spider senses are starting to tingle. Yeah, man, so I'm uh, 25 years old, like I said. Well, I didn't say, because <laughs> this is a new cut. <laughs> but I'm 25 years old. December 10th, 1993, Sag Gang, you already know what it is. Born Lake Charles, Louisiana, St. Patrick's Hospital. Um, raised in Atlanta, I moved out there when I was seven. And I was out there up until I graduated high school. And then I went to Georgia State for a semester. Fell in love while I was in high school. Fell out of love, you know what I'm saying? Like my first semester and then realized that I didn't want to be in Atlanta anymore. So kind of like um, from that point, I had been back and forth between like Atlanta and Louisiana and Houston, Texas. We ain't going to get too deep into that, you know what I'm saying? But like that's just a little uh, tidbit of information about me. Got my other cousin in the back, you know what I'm saying? Dylan Berry flexing on him real quick. But, um, yeah, man, so, yeah, so basically I had to uh, come out here. You know, we usually do our filming in Atlanta, but I had to come out here and see about my dog. She was, you know, people were worried, uh, my family was a little worried about her health and whatnot, so I had to come out here and see, see about her because I'm, like, the only person who's going to, you know, go all out and make sure that she gets the treatment that she needs, you know what I'm saying, and, um... So, did I already say the uh, the vlog part? Did I say that already? Yeah. That that I was uh that I was doing this like like to keep that uh content like that dead that dead space air content shit. Did I say that in the last video? You said that in the last video yeah. Like the one we got, the one we keeping. Yeah. All right, bet I I gotta keep my dog on hand, bro. I don't know what I do without him. You know what I'm saying? Let me show that boy on camera real quick. Yeah, you can see him. Yeah, man, so 25 years old and I don't have it figured out or I don't have it figured out deemed on what society would consider figured out. You know what I mean? Because I did the college thing for a couple of years, Georgia State, LSU, got caught running behind some ass, you know what I'm saying? Like female ass, you know what I'm saying? And um, and like it just kind of threw me off of my game, ended up on academic probation. And now I'm just like out of school, you know what I mean? At this point, like living with my uncle in like Homa, Louisiana, you know, for those of you who know. And like just kind of like in this state of like, like 
like wondering if I really wanted to go back and do school or if I wanted to pursue what I always wanted to pursue, my passion, which is entertainment. You know what I'm saying? Like, and at that point, like rapping was like the focus, you know, making music was the focus because, you know, it was, I've done acting. I went to the performing arts school when I was in elementary school and whatnot. But, um, so basically I just said, forget it. You know what I mean? I'm not even going to focus on getting back into school out here in Louisiana. And I'm, I'm going to just go out to Georgia and I'm going to start my life over and try to get up on my own feet and like do my music thing out there and whatnot. And I knew I had like a big gang of like, you know, friends out there who are all like creative and talented and whatnot. And I knew once I got around them, you know, we were going to, you know, get into a space of like really making some dope content. Huh. Come and chase till the day in. I was working for a way in. For the cap, what you pay in? Money be that motivation. Mama chillin' daily be the motive. I've been moving like a locomotive. Shout out trying to eat up on my time, cause I'm about to blow a bitch, you fucking know it. So that happened. Like that was my initial plan. Went out to Georgia. <laughs> Got a, got a charge, got a possession charge, you know what I'm saying? My mom had bought me a car. I ended up wrecking that car. I was working like seven days a week. Like in the whole time, I only made like one song, you know what I mean? Or maybe like two songs. It, it, it just turned into like a disaster. And that was like all within the first six months. Then after that, like I found out um, my, my great aunt had ended up passing and my uh, papa, that's my grandfather for uh, those of y'all not up on that Louisiana culture. You know what I'm saying? My papa had got sick with cancer. So I had to come back, I had to come back and like kind of be around the family and be like, you know, like play my, play my uh, role, you know, in the family and help out since I was the one who wasn't like working or like I didn't really have like a, a, a game plan for where I wanted to head with my life. You know what I mean? So I, I had the most freedom essentially. So that's why I was the one, you know, I came back to help out. Doing that for about a couple of years. And, you know, eventually my papa got to a, a better state with his cancer. It went into remission. And, um, and uh, like at that point it's like, all right, cool, everything's good. Everything can go back to normal. I can go back to Georgia and like finish out, finish out what I wanted to do and whatnot. And I tried that. I come back to Georgia. Something else crazy happened. It was like, the, like I don't know if the universe was challenging me or if, like it just wasn't meant for me to like really be out there. But you, you know, I'm a firm believer in that. I'm I'm in complete control of my destiny and whatnot. So I went with it. You know, I took the leap of faith. Came back out to Georgia. I had a nice little job set up where I was going to be making like $700 to $1,000 a week, like working in a warehouse and whatnot. So I was going to be able to sustain a life out here. But I came out here and I failed the test for the job. <laughs> and I know some of y'all thinking I failed the drug test. I do smoke. I do smoke weed. <laughs> but <laughs> I did not fail the drug test. I failed the strength test. But don't think shit's sweet over here, though, you know what I'm saying? Because I felt the shrimp test, like, niggas could just run up on me and whatnot because that ain't happening, baby. I rolled deep, you feel me? But <laughs> nah, nah, that's not what this is about. Yeah, so I failed the shrimp test, and then I'm, like, stuck in this, like, point of life. Like, I'm, I'm in Georgia, and I don't really have a car to, like, get around. I'm not making any money, you know, and I, I don't have a car to, like, get jobs. So I had to come back to Louisiana come back to Louisiana and then like then I kind of like make my way to Houston I'm working in Houston um my papa cancer got bad again and you know he ended up passing you know what I'm saying um I don't even like you know uh, RIP I don't, I don't like to say that RIP shit because that's just like some I don't know man it's and shout out to my papa man he's a great man or whatever I love you love you to death man I just wish you were still here you know what I'm saying to teach me some things I don't want to get too deep into that, but y'all yeah, just had to say that. You know what I'm saying? I can't can't say my papa name without you know sending the respect up. But um yeah, so I came back out here, and I'm I'm working and whatnot. Papa ended up passing, and then I just get come back to the realization. It's just something always drawing me back to uh, Georgia. So. I come back to Georgia again, you know what I mean? I, I set myself up, I made some money, you know, working Papa Do's, serving tables. And then I, uh, you know, used that money that I saved up to come back to Georgia. And then I, um, you know, I immediately, you know, before I even came back to Georgia, I was already like, you know, getting things running with this uh, music group that I was doing with some close friends of mine and whatnot. And we were trying to, you know, make that work. And it, it was working really well, you know, for the, uh, for the time being and whatnot. It's just when I got to Georgia, that's when shit kind of hit the fan. 
um like some some weird energies got involved you know and like kind of kind of fucked up our feng shui and whatnot and like the music thing just kind of like imploded like you know what i mean and um so right now at this point i'm just kind of in georgia and like i'm living in atlanta and whatnot and like to like to my family's perception it's like what is he doing out there like like you know what I mean? He's just out. He's out there. He's driving Lyft. He's driving Uber. He's working these odd jobs here and there. But like, what is his goal? Like, what is he really gonna do? Like, and I, you know, it really bothers me too because I think about the example that I'm setting for these guys, all these people. It's a lot of them. You know what I mean? And um, I hope I got them on camera good. Man, I I worry I worry deeply about the example that I set for my little cousins. And I just you know, I, cause I'm the oldest. I'm the oldest of all the grandchildren. And, you know, I just I just want them to follow into I want them to follow like some good footsteps and whatnot. I just wanna I wanna have them set up and whatnot to where they don't really have to worry about nothing in life. But like I said, I don't have it figured out and you know, to society's perception and to my family's perception. So every time I come back into every time I come back to Louisiana or every time I talk to my mom, there's always that conversation of like like what like what are, what are you doing what's next and like it's it's always been this conflict of me doing what i'm supposed to be doing versus me doing what i truly want to do you know since i've been in high school you know what i mean with like you know i had acting and then i had football i felt like football i, I needed to shine I, I played football my whole life i needed to shine in football it was my senior season so I let that get I let that get in between I let that get in between me and acting but I was also letting acting get in between me and football and it was just like I don't know what to do cuz you know what I'm saying I I love both of these things but it's like it's like it's like I I got to shine I got to shine for football my people watching me play football I go to high school you know what I mean I'm on a football team I can't be no scrub out there but at the same time, like acting is what I truly want to do. This is my future and whatnot. So I've, I've really always had that uh, that um, that conflict. But, you know, as I as I've been getting older and seeing that time has been passing me by watching some of my little cousins grow up and move on to different stages of their lives. I'm just realizing that time can no longer be wasted, bro. Time is the most valuable form of currency on this planet. Message because the second you spend it, you cannot get it back. And that's big facts, you know what I'm saying? Quote me, that's slate, it's nobody else. But the thing is, man, I just know that I'm at a point right now where I like what we're doing, you know what I mean? I like what we're doing with the whole YouTube thing. We done dropped, you know, six, six or uh, five, I'll say seven episodes, because we got two collab videos. We done dropped seven episodes in seven weeks or six weeks or something like that. And, and I like that we've been keeping a consistent energy going, but I know we got to do more. You know, I just know we got to do more. Like, I want 100 videos by by the middle of May and whatnot, because I just I just know that if if you put that energy out into the universe of like showing showing the universe or showing God or whoever, you know, like whoever y'all believe in whatnot or whatever your beliefs are like then it will grant you gifts it will drop jewels you know what i'm saying drop jewels on along your path like opening doors that were closed before you know what I, you know what i mean and i feel like if i continue to play into this conflict of not really knowing what i want to do and like letting like you know my family get into my head and whatnot it like like swaying me from like distracting me from um what the main focus is then i'll never be as successful as i want to be with this so i just wanted to say that to like give y'all a little tidbit of like where my head is at with this thing right now and i i just want everybody to like like i want you to watch this i want you to take from this that there are, there are people out, out in this world, you know what I'm saying, who don't have it figured out, you know what I mean? Like, you're not the only one, you're not alone, you know what I mean? But you gotta keep going, man. And like, don't, don't, don't confuse, don't confuse what you really wanna do and what your true passion is with what society or with, with what your family or with what uh, your mentors want you to do, you know? Don't confuse it with that because 
that's that's like a a highway to hell if you will you know what i mean it's a road like to disaster because when you truly like pursue what you what you truly want to do like when you look deep inside yourself and that, whatever it is and it it doesn't matter if society you know thinks it's you know like something um i don't what's the word i'm looking for something um like it's accepted it's accepted among society as like a, a, a honorable job or i don't know you know you know how these people is bro you know what i'm saying like like you're going to do nothing but pursue something you never really wanted to do and just lead yourself into a life of going through the motions and like being being unhappy with where you are and being unhappy with where you're headed when if you put all of that time all of that time into what you really want to do then you'll like when you look back and whether it succeeded or where or whether it grew to where you wanted it to go at least you can look back and say look i gave it my all and i know y'all been hearing that all your life but it's true though man you gonna it you you <laughs> you'll feel like you, you left no stone unturned you know what i mean and you'll be satisfied with you know the fact that you you know pursued your true passion i'm sorry if i was rambling a little bit but y'all know what i was trying to get at man um so that's just a little tidbit man and like just just a little bit of me you know what i'm saying slate on slate the many faces of me uh i want y'all to stay tuned uh into the channel man we about to really be up in the ante i'm gonna be back in uh atlanta uh april where are we in april right now april right March, March. I'll be back in Atlanta March 26th and like man just expect like crazy content to be coming out man like like I'm dead ass out here trying to get like two to three videos done a day like a day cuz I need I need a hundred plus videos by May man so just expect us to be going hard man and I want everybody else to go hard man like like figure out like truly like like listen to yourself like like you know what you want to do you don't even have to figure it out you know what you want to do and do that and do it to the fullest man it's no point in doing something half ass. you know what i'm saying do it to the fullest turn your passion into paper you know what i'm saying turn that passion into paper baby you already know what it is man it's your boy slate baby i'm signing out oh yeah before i get up out of here i almost forgot make sure y'all like comment subscribe <laughs> you know what i'm saying and uh we're gonna save y'all peace next time baby make sure you keep a clean slate